It's really exciting and happy that this has come to be. I think you heard a lot of people uh, clapping today as this was announced. Out of Hurricane Harvey, there was a lot of loss, and then the pandemic. And so the community had been hurt radically over here. They've actually lost population. And so to be able to have a workforce development here locally, this is a great opportunity for the people that live here, that want to work here, and that can provide better wages for their families. Well, one reason is because the community was totally for this. We had no opposition at any from any level of government. People are, when we hear about it, they say, God, that's such a great idea. I'm so glad we're finally going to do this. And of course, Del Mar College made it happen. And we, we, the county got the EDA grant, which is part of it, but I'm not sure we would have gotten it without the help of Del Mar College. But, but believe me, since Hurricane Harvey, our team has been working hard, and we have a terrific team, and the whole county works together in, in bad times, and we, we're celebrating right now. It will produce more jobs uh, and keep people in Aransas County instead of getting high school education or college education and moving off somewhere else. They get their education and, and born and raised here like I was. You can stay here if you have a job. You don't have to leave. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. From stethoscopes to hard hats, we've got you covered. Find your path at delmar.edu forward slash GPS. Whether you find freedom on the open road or on a blank canvas, we've got you covered. Find your path at delmar.edu forward slash GPS. exactly how I had imagined it, except in my mind I was using uh, store-bought pearls, and so they were all nice and even, and instead last night my husband and I spent 11 hours making the pearls on the top of my cake. At first I was nervous before, like, I had no clue what I wanted to do, but now seeing it today come to life, I was trying to achieve a clean, like a clean white look. I didn't want to put too much color. Like other people use color, but I felt that the roses did, made it stand out more. Because once I applied them, it gave it that effect. I'm hoping they like the filling. I did a toasted marshmallow filling. It has that a little crunch once you bite into it. And then I did a cream cheese filling. So, And then I just did regular buttercream in the bottom in order for us to achieve our end results, it takes more than 
three hours twice a day, or twice a week, rather. Um, so everybody was here extra. We were sharing, we were, hey, do you have this? I've got this, do you need it? What can I do for you? Um, so it, we have individual cakes, but it was a team effort. Throughout history, there have been events that have altered the course. In 1914, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand led to the beginning of World War I. The attack on Pearl Harbor thrusted the U.S. into entering World War II. Five years after the end of World War II, North Korean troops crossed the 38th parallel and the Korean War began. A year after its conclusion, the 1954 Geneva Conference was held to settle issues from the Korean and First Indochina Wars. The resulting accords unfortunately proved to be short-lived and would eventually lead to the escalation of the Vietnam War. I think the one thing we can all agree on is that there will always be something that will test us. When history is happening, it is difficult to determine the impact and effects it will have during the moment. However, history has also shown that our ability to come together to face them is inspiring, and I believe greatly represented by those who have served in the armed forces. I had a great career. It was great knowing, knowing, working, experiencing um, all the different aspects, working with the different branches. Uh, and not just that, but the people that you work with. You know, I had a great group of guys and gals that, you know, we went to combat together. I took them there, I brought them home, and some didn't make it home. But knowing that, you know, that we served together, I mean, it was a great honor. It's still a great honor. So, live in a tiny town, there's like three good jobs without a degree. I did them all and I was just miserable. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to move on with my life and it just kind of clicked. The military gives you options. There are so many options. By joining the military, what it can open up for you, depending on the job. So I decided then and there that I needed direction in my life and the best direction I could get would be the military. You look at recent history, and Operation Desert Storm was announced 30 years ago. 20 years ago, the attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon were carried out. Like generations before, people from all walks of life stepped up to answer the call. Regardless of their beliefs, these individuals once wrote a blank check to defend the nation. For me, not only is it one of the highest forms of service, but to set aside your own interest, to defend a set of ideals, help, and give people at home or abroad hope is one of the greatest honors and absolutely worth it. I didn't realize I'd be able to do all this. It's, I don't know, what else can I do with one hand? Go on to the next challenge. Because to me, it's always going to be a challenge, no matter what. It's just, I don't know if I can or cannot do it unless I did it, and then I'll see. Halfway, when we're doing piping, I needed to make something to protect my left arm. So then I started using the leather and sewing hobbies that I used to make my own personal protective equipment from uh, the showers of metal, sparks and all that. So that I was lucky to make that. I didn't realize that this actually helped out with other challenges and projects in the TIG 
in the TIG welding part. To me, I didn't know if I could be able to continue on, especially because I figured I'm going to end up hitting a wall. I just keep on going and going, pretty much adapting to everything until I get it right. And then once I get it right, go on to the next. So pretty much if I know what I need, can I make it? If I can make it, well, that real is cheap. <laughs> Didn't know I was gonna be able to do it, but with the proper techniques, help, and the uh, right equipment too, I definitely learned a lot, a lot especially for the uh, if I do go into welding. This is one of the most exciting days we've had in that we're seeing the culmination of three years worth of work where faculty, staff, uh, administration, and then our great donors, Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, have been working together to bring this to, uh, to fruition. When I first heard about the pilot plants and got a tour of the pilot plants outside, I was excited. I felt relieved that I was going to get some hands-on learning. Um, and then we come into this facility, the Gulf Coast Growth Ventures facility, and it just, it's a whole new ball game. You know, it takes visual learning to a whole new level for a lot of people like myself who needed that. Yeah, look, I mean, hands-on training is essential. You can read books, you can get the theory all you want. But what Del Mar has done with our donation has really can mesh those two and really created something special here where these students are going to be able to see and get a grasp of things before they come into the workplace where you really don't see it. It's inside steel vessels. Here they can actually see it. They can move things around and see how they respond and they're you know really just very highly qualified individuals when they leave this program. Uh, when you first uh, kind of like look at a unit all on paper it's overwhelming like you look at it and it just blows your mind you're like I will never figure this out for the life of me and then you get down here and start actually putting your hands on the equipment and seeing what's what and it, it really elucidates uh, uh, all the equipment how they work together how they connect and how the control loops kind of uh, regulate all the processes. Whenever I'm on site here at Del Mar College, it's wonderful to hear from the students who go through the program. Their passion and their drive for what they're learning and how they feel that will change their careers as they go toward the future is really rewarding for all of us to see. From stethoscopes to hard hats, we've got you covered. Find your path at delmar.edu forward slash GPS. It's really exciting and happy that this has come to be. I think you heard a lot of people uh, clapping today as this was announced. Out of Hurricane Harvey, there was a lot of loss, and then the pandemic. And so the community had been hurt radically over here. They've actually lost population. And so to be able to have a workforce development here locally 
This is a great opportunity for the people that live here, that want to work here, and that can provide better wages for their families. Well, one reason is because the community was totally for this. We had no opposition at any, from any level of government. People, are, when we hear about it, they say, God, that's a great idea. I'm so glad we're finally going to do this. And of course, Del Mar College made it happen. And we, we, the county got the EDA grant, which is part of it, but I'm not sure we would have gotten it without the help of Del Mar College. Uh, uh, believe me, since Hurricane Harvey, our team has been working hard, and we have a terrific team, and the whole county works together in, in bad times, and we, we're celebrating right now. It will produce more jobs uh, and keep people in Aransas County instead of getting high school education or college education and moving off somewhere else. They get their education and, and born and raised here like I was. You can stay here if you have a job. You don't have to leave. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. From stethoscopes to hard hats, we've got you covered. Find your path at delmar.edu forward slash GPS. Whether you find freedom on the open road or on a blank canvas, we've got you covered. Find your path at delmar.edu forward slash GPS. exactly how I had imagined it, except in my mind I was using uh, store-bought pearls, and so they were all nice and even, and instead last night my husband and I spent 11 hours making the pearls on the top of my cake. At first I was nervous before, like, I had no clue what I wanted to do, but now seeing it today come to life, I was trying to achieve a clean, like a clean white look. I didn't want to put too much color. Like other people use color, but I felt that the roses did, made it stand out more. Because once I applied them, it gave it that effect. I'm hoping they like the filling. I did a toasted marshmallow filling. It has that a little crunch once you bite into it. And then I did a cream cheese filling. So, And then I just did regular buttercream in the bottom in order for us to achieve our end results, it takes more than three hours twice a day, or twice a week, rather. Um, so everybody was here extra. We were sharing, we were, hey, do you have this? I've got this, do you need it? What can I do for you? Um, so it, we have individual cakes, but it was a team effort.
Throughout history, there have been events that have altered the course. In 1914, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand led to the beginning of World War I. The attack on Pearl Harbor thrusted the U.S. into entering World War II. Five years after the end of World War II, North Korean troops crossed the 38th parallel and the Korean War began. A year after its conclusion, the 1954 Geneva Conference was held to settle issues from the Korean and First Indochina Wars. The resulting accords unfortunately proved to be short-lived and would eventually lead to the escalation of the Vietnam War. I think the one thing we can all agree on is that there will always be something that will test us. When history is happening, it is difficult to determine the impact and effects it will have during the moment. However, history has also shown that our ability to come together to face them is inspiring and I believe greatly represented by those who have served in the armed forces. I had a great career. It was great knowing, knowing, working, experiencing um, all the different aspects, working with the different branches. Uh, and not just that, but the people that you work with. You know, I had a great group of guys and gals that, you know, we went to combat together. I took them there, I brought them home, and some didn't make it home. But knowing that, you know, that we served together, I mean, it was a great honor. It's still a great honor. Right, so, live in a tiny town, there's like three good jobs without a degree. I did them all, and I was just miserable. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to move on with my life, and it just kind of clicked. The military gives you options. There's so many options. By joining the military, what can open up for you, depending on the job. So I decided then and there that I needed direction in my life and the best direction I could get would be the military. You look at recent history, and Operation Desert Storm was announced 30 years ago. 20 years ago, the attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon were carried out. Like generations before, People from all walks of life stepped up to answer the call. Regardless of their beliefs, these individuals once wrote a blank check to defend the nation. For me, not only is it one of the highest forms of service, but to set aside your own interest, to defend a set of ideals, help, and give people at home or abroad hope is one of the greatest honors and absolutely worth it. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd be able to do all this. It's, oh, what else can I do with one hand? Go on to the next challenge. Because to me, it's always going to be a challenge, no matter what. It's just, I don't know if I can or cannot do it unless I did it, and then I'll see. Halfway, when we're doing piping, I needed to make something to protect my left arm. So then I started using the leather and sewing hobbies that I used to make my own personal protective equipment from the, the showers of metal, sparks and all that. So that I was lucky to make that. I didn't realize that this actually helped out with other challenges and projects in the TIG, in the TIG welding part. To me, I didn't know if I could be able to continue on especially because I figured I'm going to end up hitting a wall. I just keep on going and going, pretty much adapting to everything until I get it right. And then once I get it right, go on to the next. So pretty much if I know what I need, can I make it? If I can make it, well, there we go, it's cheap. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to be able to do it, but with the proper techniques, help, and the uh, right equipment too, I definitely learned a lot, a lot, especially for the uh, if I do go into welding. This is 
one of the most exciting days we've had in that we're seeing the culmination of three years worth of work where faculty, staff, uh, administration, and then our great donors, Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, have been working together to bring this to, uh, to fruition. When I first heard about the pilot plants and got a tour of the pilot plants outside, I was excited. I felt relieved that I was going to get some hands-on learning. Um, and then we come into this facility, the Gulf Coast Growth Ventures facility, and it just, it's a whole new ball game. You know, it takes visual learning to a whole new level for a lot of people like myself who needed that. Yeah, look, I mean, hands-on training is essential. You can read books, you can get the theory all you want. But what Del Mar has done with our donation has really can mesh those two and really created something special here where these students are going to be able to see and get a grasp of things before they come into the workplace where you really don't see it. It's inside steel vessels. Here they can actually see it. They can move things around and see how they respond. And they're you know, really just very highly qualified individuals when they leave this program. Uh, when you first uh, kind of like look at a unit all on paper, it's overwhelming. Like you look at it, it just blows your mind. You're like, I will never figure this out for the life of me. And then you get down here and start actually putting your hands on the equipment and seeing what's what. And it, it really elucidates uh, uh, all the equipment, how they work together, how they connect and how the control loops kind of uh, regulate all the processes. Whenever I'm on site here at Del Mar College, it's wonderful to hear from the students who go through the program. Their passion and their drive for what they're learning and how they feel that will change their careers as they go toward the future is really rewarding for all of us to see.
I'm Marcus Camillo, President and CEO of Del Mar College. Welcome, graduates, your families, and friends to the Fall 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. I also want to welcome the Del Mar College Board of Regents, faculty, and staff who are online with us this evening. Thank you for joining us. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. Fall 2021 graduates, you are part of a distinguished group who can look back on this period in your lives with a special sense of pride. In addition to doing the tough work that's required to earn a degree or certificate, you overcame numerous obstacles associated with the coronavirus pandemic. You should be exceptionally proud of your achievement. Your tenacity will serve you well into your future endeavors, whether you plan to continue your education, start a new career, or enter the workforce. Thank you for your hard work and patience. Believe it or not, it's a great time to be a college graduate. Our country and our economy are rebounding from COVID-19. As conditions improve, companies are hiring, businesses are being created, industries are expanding. You're on the threshold of this comeback. Your talents are needed no matter what your field of study is. The future is in your hands, Vikings. While you were working toward your degree or certificate, you probably had the support of your family and friends. This ceremony is for them too. To the important people who supported you while you studied, I offer them a sincere thank you and muchas gracias. Now, I'd like to introduce Carol Scott, Chairwoman of the Del Mar College Board of Regents. Hello, Fall 2021 graduates. On behalf of the Del Mar College Board of Regents, congratulations on a job well done. We're glad you're here and that you're safe. You've come a long way to reach the finish line. Let's face it, college is challenging enough without added difficulties. You may have had to juggle a job, childcare, or other family obligations while pursuing your education. And of course, we've all had to contend with COVID-19. You may have thought at some point, this isn't doable, and you still did it. That's what we call Viking Strong. Your accomplishment is proof that great perseverance leads to great rewards. So take a breath, celebrate. Today you're a college graduate. What a bright, positive way to end this year and begin the new one. We on the Board of Regents share in the excitement of your graduation and your next chapter. Remember, Del Mar College will always be here with educational opportunities for you and your family. Please continue to stay safe. And once again, congratulations, Vikings. It's now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Katya Uriate. Ms. Uriate is a news anchor and journalist at KRIAS 6 News, the Coastal Bend's NBC affiliate. 
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Escamilla. And hi, everyone. It is such an honor to be here with you today. I'm Kathy Uriarte, and I am a news anchor with Chris Six News. Now, that is my job. I'm also a wife. I'm a mom to an eight-year-old son, and I'm also a room mom at my son's school, and the list kind of goes on. But uh, first off, congratulations again, graduates, Del Mar College, fall class of 2021. You did it. What a great moment this is. You have worked so hard to get to this exact spot in your life to earn your degree. You know, I remember being in your shoes not long ago. Well, it was kind of a long time ago, class of 2000. It took me a little while to graduate. I was supposed to be class of 1998, but I just wasn't really ready to graduate. I kind of wanted to stay in school for as long as I could, almost be a professional college student until I saw the tuition bill rack up year after year and then I needed to figure out a way to pay for it. So I finally walked the stage. But here you are and this is such a great moment in your life. You know, broadcasting was not my first major. I tried so many different things. I was a pre-med student, that didn't work out. I wanted to be an accountant at one point and phew, figured out that math is not really my strong suit. A lot of people would be getting audited right now if I did their taxes. Yeah, I was also gonna go to law school and I actually did enjoy that, but my last year, I signed up for a communications journalism class and really that was it. I got an internship at Fox 8 in New Orleans. I got a job as a producer for the Fox affiliate in Biloxi, Mississippi, two weeks before I graduated. And well, as they say, the rest is history. And the reason that I'm sharing that with you is because I didn't know my path. And I remember just always being really inspired and in awe of people who knew their path. They knew A to B to go to C, and it was a straight linear path. All I knew is that when I found journalism, I had goals, goals to succeed in something career-wise, and journalism happened to be it for me. You know, it's been a winding road, rocky at times, but I'm always trying to find what's next, what my next accomplishment is gonna be, whether it's career-wise or just in life in general. You know, I started as a producer behind the scenes, and then I moved up to being a reporter because that was my next goal, and then I wanted to be a news anchor. And then when that happened, I wanted to be an evening news anchor. And then every year, I just want to get better at what I do. I have been blessed. I sincerely believe in God Almighty and He has blessed my path. I came to this country from Tegucigalpa, Honduras when I was 10 years old. I didn't even speak English. Spanish, Espanol is my first language. I was 10 years old before I learned to speak English. And I am here because my mom had the strength and the courage to pick up from everything that she knew, leave that behind and come to America. And here we are. She's a tough lady. She had to be. And she is the reason that my brother and I are where we are today. Her only goal for my brother and I was to get an education and to make something out of ourselves. My brother, I'm proud to say, is an electrical engineer. And well, I'm here, yours truly, as a journalist, as a news anchor. And it's always been about education. Education is the key to everything. And I have a lot of faith in the Lord and I have trusted my life to Him and I know that He has guided my journey. And I share this with you today in such a momentous occasion in your life because moments like these are gonna come your way if you keep at it and you do the work. I think that for some of us, fulfillment can come from work. For others, it's from what happens that doesn't involve the workplace. Whether you know exactly where you're going or you're still trying to make that decision, just trust that voice inside of you. You're here now, right? It's worked so far. So congratulations, Del Mar College, fall class of 2021. I trust that everything that you do that's ahead of you, you will do great. And listen, I just don't want to stand here and give you a bunch of life advice or just tell you all about myself. So I've recruited a few friends of mine from around the TV station to share with you and with me some pithy advice as you start your journey ahead. My damn music sound up. This is Chris Six News. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm Pat Simon. And I'm Kathy We are taking a live look as preparations of this Okay, so Katya asked me to give you some advice about life and what you plan to do. First of all, congratulations. You're moving on to something bigger than you can ever think of right now. So some advice for you. 
don't you ever, don't you ever let anybody tell you you can't because you can't. You wake up in the morning, splash that water in your face and tell yourself in the mirror, I can, this will be my day. It is big, make it big. Second thing, find your passion and you will know your purpose. Think about that, find your passion and you will know your purpose. And this is one that never fails. I've told my son and he still uses it today. Have a plan, have a backup to your plan and a backup to your backup. You will need that, trust me. Good luck, have a great life. Come and see us sometimes. If you need some advice, we're here for you. Have a great life. Congratulations, graduates. Today's a really big day of Vikings. I'm Veronica Flores Herrera here at KRIS. I go by Ronnie, and I just want to offer some advice that I've learned throughout my career. I've been in TV for 24 years, and some of the things I've learned is working hard and hustling will get you very far in your career. Uh, second, choose a job you love. If you choose a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Uh, the third thing, if you make a mistake, don't be so hard on yourself. I've actually learned a lot from the mistakes I've made throughout the years. So look at it more as a learning lesson and not as a mistake. Usual. Tip number four for you guys, when you become successful, give back. So when you enter your career, you're going to be lost. You're going to find someone who's going to help you throughout your career. But when you are at that point, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, always remember the person that you were and find that person who's just entered your career and help them out. So give back to your community, give back to those who are entering your career. Uh, good luck everyone and once again, congratulations. Congratulations graduates. Um, my name is Monica Chavaria. I'm a real-time desk manager here at Chris TV. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that I wish you all nothing but the best of luck. Um, when you do enter the workforce in the future, just know that it's you're going to probably start from the bottom, but it's up to you to work your way to the top. So that's going to take a lot of hard work, but you'll eventually get there if you want to. When you consider your future, I think uh, one of the main things is to do something that makes you happy. You certainly don't want to be doing something that's going to make you miserable the rest of your life and you have a long life ahead of you. So pick something that you enjoy and make sure you can make money at doing it. That's the only thing. you got to make sure you can make money. And uh, don't forget about Uncle Sam uh, when you're making your financial transactions in the future. And uh, lastly, but uh, most important, uh, seek wisdom from uh, someone you trust that's elderly, perhaps in your family or a friend. I think that's the best advice I could give you right there. Hi, I'm Jim Bob Brazil. I'm the news director here at Chris Six, KZTV, and Caja Telemundo. Um, I do this job because I get fulfillment from the fact that every day I know that my work and the work of this newsroom impacts our community in some small way. Uh, and so I urge you guys, whatever you do in life, find an impact uh, and you'll get personal fulfillment from it. And that's, that's worth its weight in gold. All right, Del Mar College, fall class of 2021. Congratulations, you did it. Listen, continue being a Del Mar Viking even after you get that degree in your hands. Remember, make a mark in the world and especially in your community. Because remember, sky is the limit. We will now introduce the fall 2021 graduates participating in tonight's ceremony. The complete list of graduates will be displayed at the end of this ceremony. Linda Acevedo. Gabriela S. Aguas Garcia. Corinne S. Aguila. Dane Aguilar. Stephanie A. Aguilar, cum laude. Christy L. Alanis. Jacob Alanis, magna cum laude. 
Myra S. Alcaraz. Alexis A. Aldridge. Victoria R. Alejandro. Jonathan Aleman. Aaron T. Alexander. Naomi D. Alexander. Nathan D. Alexander. Taylor R. Almendares. Christian A. Alvarado. Jose A. Alvarado. Marcos A. Alvarado. Jair M. Alvarez. Kayla A. Amador. Richard Andrade III. Kathleen J. Angeles. Michaela Y. R. C. Andrew G. Armando. Richard M. Arnold. Monica Ariaga. Joseph N. Ariola. Jonesty R. Askew. Felicia K. Avalos. Morgan E. Bacon. Brittany G. Bayo. Stephanie Baltiera. Morgan D. Banda Gomez, cum laude. Nadia A. Barnes. Ian D. Barrera. Jacob L. Baron Harris. Ruben Basildu. Tyler B. Batiz. Chastity V. Basildua. Karina A. Bazan Abalos. Lacey L. Beal Inojosa. Ashley N. Beasley. Peyton G. Beck. Daniel L. Beltran Jr. Megan B. Bender. Ricky W. Bennett, cum laude. Elijah B. Bernal. J. 
Jennifer E. Bernardini. Victoria L. Berg. Mark F. Blackmar. Victor Blanco III. Heidi E. Bland. Jennifer M. Bostic. Madison R. Bowling. Summa Cum Laude. Marcos A. Bravo. Jalissa A. Brooks. Haley Brown. Jessica A. Bryan. Shameen Badwani. Magna Cum Laude. Vanessa El Buenrostro. Magna Cum Laude. Raquel Bunsey. Amanda M. Burns. Aiden S. Butler, summa cum laude. Paige N. Butler. Jose Cabrera, Jr. Eric A. Casares. Francisco M. Carondon. Tara O. Kane. Blanca S. Canales. Summa Cum Laude. Robert E. Canales. Aubrey N. Canas. Brandy N. Candelaria. Adriana Arcano. Jason Colley C. Canoy. Dominique El Cantu. Jessica E. Cantu. Rebecca R. Cantu. Magna Cum Laude. Melissa A. Capadonna. Matthew J. Carr. Isabel M. Carranco. Sierra L. Carrasquillo. Samantha A. Carrion. Miguel A. Carriera Hernandez Sr. Cum Laude. Desiree M. Carrillo. Thomas A. Castellanos. Brittany V. Castillo. Ramiro G. Castillo.
Robert E. Castillo Brush. Janelle El Castro. Caitlin Castro. Lindsay Castro. Summa Cum Laude. Ricardo M. Castro. Marla A. Caudillo. Hannah J. Kayford. Javier Ceballos Jr. Desiree C. Centeno. Jessica Cervantes. Land R. Chamberlain Jr. Lauren E. Chandler. Candice B. Chapa. Daniel L. Chapa. Paloma N. Chapa. Kathleen A. Chupi. Gloria J. Cisneros. Hope D. Clark. Chelsea M. Clement. Giselle A. Colon. Michael S. Compton. Stephanie C. Conley. Brittany L. Contreras. Dejia N. Contreras. Mario L. Contreras, cum laude. John R. Conwell II. Isaac M. Cordova. Lindsay P. Cormier, summa cum laude. Rebecca N. Corpus. Esteban C. Corpus Jr. Elsa A. Cortez. Edgar Cortez Jr. Jonathan Cortinas, cum laude. Annalisa Cortinez. Madeline R. Castilla. Zachary T. Cox. Naomi R. Craddock. Austin B. Crenshaw. Connor D. Crumley. Landon S. Cruz.
Joe Cruz Jr. Manuel A. Cuellar. Tamra L. Daniel. Danica A. Darnley. Benita D. Davis, cum laude. Nicole R. Davis. Jessalyn O. De La Garza. Lance A. De Leon, cum laude. Nathan A. DeBoer. Leorenzo C. De La Cruz. Magna Cum Laude. Jennifer L. De Leon. Paulette C. De Leon. Savannah L. Diaz. Rafael Diaz Jr. Stuart C. Deagle II. Dorothy N. Dodson. Victoria Dominguez. Lisa A. Donahue. Benjamin E. Dovalina IV, magna cum laude. Rebecca E. Downen. Raven R. Downey. Candy F. Dunn. Alberto Duran. Erica D. Durham. Corey S. Jew. Delies J. Earl. Sherman A. Easley Robb. Brandon M. E. George J. Elizondo. Austin D. Emery. Dakota E. Ensigna. Savannah D. Escalante. Abraham S. Espinosa. Austin B. Estanislao, cum laude. Allison Fang. Rosita S. Faranakian. Idilia R. Felipe. Carolyn Fernandez. Isabella R. Fernandez. Magna Cum Laude. Jorge A. Fernandez Jr. Magna Cum Laude. 
Christian J. Flores, cum laude. Priscilla M. Flores. Roel Flores. Zachary R. Flores, cum laude. Jesus Flores III. Mackenzie A. Floyd. Ashley A. Forto. Amanda N. Foster. Allison N. Frago. Emma L. Franco. Magna Cum Laude. Darren N. Frazier. Ernesto Galindo Jr. Brianna J. Galvin, Magna Cum Laude. Iris E. Galvez, Magna Cum Laude. Adriana A. Garcia. Alyssa N. Garcia. Allison A. Garcia. Anissa G. Garcia, magna cum laude. Audrey M. Garcia. Bianca J. Garcia. Brisa D. Garcia. Christopher B. Garcia. Summa cum laude. Donnie R. Garcia. Denise O. Garcia. Faith D. Garcia, magna cum laude. Glenda H. Garcia. Eileen D. Garcia, magna cum laude. Lucinda L. Garcia. Nadia J. Garcia. Noah D. Garcia. Rick J. Garcia. Ruben A. Garcia, magna cum laude. Stephanie A. Garcia. Teresa Maria A. Garcia. Terazita Garcia. Ryland T. Garcia, Sr. Samson J. Garibay. Brandy L. Garza. Elijah T. Garza. Haley N. Garza.
Hannah E. Garza. Margarita Garza. Mary J. Garza. Monica M. Garza. Stacy N. Garza. Symphony R. Garza. Leo Garza III. Raul Garza III. Emmanuel U. Garza Maldonado. Christine M. Geisler. Tyler L. Jess. Kara N. Gibson. Geneva A. Gill. Caitlin M. Gill. Stuart G. Gosey. Ashlyn A. Gomez. Marissa C. Gomez. Michaela M. Gomez. Joshua M. Gonzalez. Linda A. Gonzalez. Lucas R. Gonzalez. Alicia G. Gonzalez. Summa Cum Laude. Amber D. Gonzalez. Anissa M. Gonzalez. Fabian Gonzalez. Horacio Gonzalez. Josiah J. Gonzalez. Eloy Gonzalez Jr. Summa Cum Laude. Una M. Gonzalez Breithaupt. Christina M. Gordon McMurray. Brian E. Gorman. William J. Gracia, Jr. Matthew A. Granados. Kylie R. Greenemeyer. J. B. Griffith. Herbert G. Grossel, summa cum laude. Megan Groves. Lillian K. Guerra Soto. Alejandro L. Guerrero. Kayla E. Guerrero.
Lauren A. Guevara. Cherie T. Gutierrez. Elijah J. Gutierrez. Alexis S. Guzman. Demetrius K. Guzman. Savannah E. Gwynn. Chelsea D. Hale. Carrie D. Hale the Third. Jordan S. Hall, cum laude. Jeanette M. Hamilton. Carrie D. Hargrove. Jericho N. Harris, cum laude. Ashley R. Harriman. Brian G. Hartnett. Christina M. Havelka. Brennan Hebert. Jacob A. Heflin, cum laude. Jasmine S. Henderson. Amber N. Hernandez. Jaron A. Hernandez. Jessica R. Hernandez. Jezebel S. Hernandez. Jorge Hernandez. Magna Cum Laude. Joshua K. Hernandez. Stephanie Y. Hernandez. Veronica M. Hernandez. Alessandra C. Herrera. Jessica M. Herrera. Nicole D. Herrera. Lucas T. Hill, cum laude. Travel J. Hill. Jacob R. Inahosa, summa cum laude. Liana B. Inohosa. Sergio P. Inohosa Sr. Farrell P. Hogwood. Melina A. Hawk. Casey R. Hoover, cum laude. Quaylen S. Hughes. Mickey J. Hutchinson. Manette M. Jameson.
Gabriela A. Hasso. Tyler B. Jester, summa cum laude. Jacob A. Jimenez. Joshua A. Jimenez. Josiah J. Jimenez. Caleb E. Jogets. Kira Johnson. Lindsay M. Johnson. Rebecca R. Johnson. Magna Cum Laude. Marcus E. L. Kelly. Sandy L. Kelso. Gwendolyn M. Kenner. Hannah L. Kyle, cum laude. Angela M. Killian. Jacqueline A. Killian. Cameron W. Kirk. Catherine M. Nam. Amy N. Napik, summa cum laude. Juliana Conning. Jacob E. Krupa, magna cum laude. Mercedes M. Lacour. Alan E. Lacoste, Jr. Jasmine A. Lacey. Zachary H. Lale, summa cum laude. Sabrina L. Lamb. Andrea J. Landa. Jacqueline A. Lara. Christian K. Loridis. Jenna R. Lawrence. Magna Cum Laude. T. Truk P. Lee. Magna Cum Laude. Armando R. Leach Flores. Chloe E. Leal. Rosa E. Leal. Summa Cum Laude. Valentine Leal Jr. Christopher J. Lee. Dominic C. Lee, summa cum laude. Zachary C. Lee. Allison M. Lemos. Antonio M. Leos. Desiree Lerma, Magna Cum Laude. 
Justin D. Licon. Ezra and Longoria. Carlos A. Lopez. Cornelio M. Lopez. Esteban A. Lopez. Elizabeth D. Lucas. Alyssa M. Luis. Zamira C. Luna. Christian G. Machado, cum laude. Gabriela Macias. Monica Macias, cum laude. Jennifer R. Mahan. Chelsea N. Maldonado. Pedro Maldonado Jr. Courtney N. Manning. Noah M. Marble. Ruth G. Marroquin. Abigail Martinez. Aubrey M. Martinez. Dallas D. Martinez. Magna Cum Laude. Elisa L. Martinez, magna cum laude. Janice R. Martinez, cum laude. Joel Martinez. Justin V. Martinez. Kayla I. Martinez. Lauren A. Martinez. Mia F. Martinez. Reynaldo A. Martinez. Tony A. Martinez. Valeria Martinez. Daniel Martinez III. Jose R. Martinez Jr. James T. Marr. Brian K. McCauley. Tammy L. McChester. Justin L. McPeak. Virginia M. McAllister. Demi L. McBride. Summa Cum Laude. Shavai L. McChester. Helen M. McClary.
Daryl S. McCuster. Rebecca J. McEnroy. Summa Cum Laude. Adelina Mears. Gabrielle Medina. Nicole C. Meyer. Magna Cum Laude. Sarah K. Meyer. Aliana C. Mena. Joel D. Mendez. Oscar R. Mendiola. Alana J. Mendoza. Gabriel Mensa, Magna Cum Laude. Jordan M. Meza, Magna Cum Laude. Serena R. Meza. Chelsea M. Miller. Ian H. Miller. Cleve L. Miller III. Elijah L. Mitchell. Stephanie M. Monjada. Christian W. Moore. Caleb R. Morales. Gloria E. Morales. Megan F. Morales. Summa Cum Laude. Rolando J. Morales. Ruben U. Morales II. Ileana R. Moreno. Christina A. Moreno. Madison S. Moreno. Pedro A. Moreno. Leslie Y. Moreno Mora. Amanda M. Morgan. Justin E. Morris II. Christian C. Moana, summa cum laude. Shannon G. Muhlenberg. Aiden M. Mulroney. Davina A. Murphy. Chelsea P. Neto. Brandon J. Navarro. Dang X. Nguyen. Summa Cum Laude. Deem M. Nguyen. Antonio A. Nunez.
Audrey E. Nunez. Ryan A. Okanas. Juan A. Ochoa. Diamond R. Ogi. John Ryan D. Oliveira. Joe R. Ortiz Jr. Robert C. Owen. Summa Cum Laude. Rosa L. Payez. Brandy R. Palacios. James C. Papas, cum laude. Scott Parrott, summa cum laude. Tiffany A. Parrott, magna cum laude. Charmy D. Patel. Sawan H. Patel, summa cum laude. Tiffany K. Patton. Jasmine A. Piri. Aaron R. Pena. Monique A. Pena. Sheila S. Pena. Jose M. Pepe. Brennan N. Perez. Christopher J. Perez, magna cum laude. Michelle B. Perez, cum laude. Philip J. Perez. Simon O. Perez. Anthony Perkins, summa cum laude. V. T. Fon. Jasmine E. Pineda. Danielle C. Platt. Diana C. Palanco, magna cum laude. Larry Pon III. Christopher F. Pretty. Aja C. Prime. Kimberly R. Quitania. Adriana M. Ramirez. Danielle L. Ramirez. Summa cum laude. Devet J. Ramirez. Eduardo Ramirez. Jose A. Ramirez. Krista N. Ramirez.
Luis Miguel A. Ramirez. Ricardo Ramon Jr. Anthony J. Ramos, magna cum laude. Matthew I. Ramos. Brittany N. Ramsey. Krista M. Razor. Logan C. Recker, summa cum laude. Lacey C. Repka. Robert F. Reynolds. Caitlin E. Ridenauer Lascano. Ashley R. Rivas. Eulalia Rivas. Jessica Rivas. Reina V. Riso. Elena M. Robles, cum laude. Antoinette Rodriguez. Brandon R. Rodriguez. Brian Rodriguez, cum laude. Rodriguez Isaac Rodriguez Jaslyn N. Rodriguez Marissa N. Rodriguez Rodriguez, summa cum laude. Pedro Rodriguez. Sabrina C. Rodriguez. Estalin D. Rodriguez. Rodrigo Rodriguez III. Jose E. Rodriguez Jr. Cum laude. Carlos A. Rodriguez Alanis. Genevieve N. Rodriguez. Julie A. Romano, summa cum laude. Cassidy J. Romo. Misty G. Romo. Anthony R. Rosales. Nicholas R. Rowland. Daniel A. Rubio. Marcos M. Rubio. Jonathan J. Ruiz. Abigail R. Russell, magna cum laude. Aaron A. Russell, summa cum laude. 
John R. Sine. Melanie A. Signs, Alejandro Salazar, Eileen Salazar, Joseph M. Salazar. Roy Salazar, cum laude. Ileana Salazar Garza. Ruben Saldana. Brenda R. Salinas. Cora J. Salinas. Devin Salinas. Lauren R. Salinas. Richard S. Salinas. Amberlyn G. Sanchez. Elizabeth Sanchez, cum laude. Gabriela Sanchez. Jasmine R. Sanchez. Samantha J. Sanchez, cum laude. Ruben Sanchez, Jr. Jalen J. Sanders. Jose O. Sandoval. Alfredo Sandoval III. Jasmine A. Saucedo. Tammy L. Shannon. Cody L. Schroeder. George T. Schroeder. Nicole L. Schultz. Ty J. Schultz. Anthony J. Seba. Salvador P. Segura. Irina V. Seitz. Hilda G. Serna. Austin M. Sheehan. Sandra L. Schaus. Annabelle A. Silva. Velma T. Silva. Zoe L. Smart. Joshua J. Smith. Tykura M. Smith. Nathan I. Smithwick.
Joshua M. Solis. Karen E. Solis. Bradley J. Solis. Maria D. Solis. Brianna F. Soria. Megan K. Spear. Summa Cum Laude. Joshua J. Stewart. Chloe Stonage. Aaron A. Suarez. Denise E. Sudell. Summa Cum Laude. Zainat B. Suleiman, Magna Cum Laude. Dylan J. Sutton. Bryce W. Saima. Gabrielle D. Tafola III. Brendan M. Teague. Dulce C. Teo. Catherine A. Telchik. Christina A. Torre. Melissa A. Torres. Michael J. Torres. Esteban R. Trevino. Lucas A. Trevino. Eric A. Trevino, Jr. Kaylee M. Tyler. Christian L. Valdez. Christopher P. Valdez, Jr. Isaac H. Van Nuys. Simon F. Vargas. Jake W. Vasquez. Jose A. Vasquez III. Summa Cum Laude. Brittany L. Vega. Arturo A. Vega Flores. Julian R. Vela. Lucas X. Veliz. Anna J. Vera, cum laude. Jeanette G. Vieira. Pedro A. Villa. Pablo Villafranco. Aaron L. Villanueva. Madeline M. Villanueva.
Abel E. Villarreal. Desiree Villarreal. Gwen E. Villarreal. Ashley Y. Villegas. Magna Cum Laude. Melissa N. Villegas Lopez. Zariah N. Villela. Christopher J. Viola. Hang L. Vu. Brittany L. Walker. Crystal K. Wallace. Michael C. Warren. Chance A. Weaver. Taylor K. J. West. Cum Laude. Jordan B. Westercom. Gabriella T. Willingham. Joey V. Wilm. Summa Cum Laude. Dawson G. Wilson. Wilbert T. Wilson. Kyle B. Winstead. Soraya N. Winterbauer. Summa Cum Laude. Angelina Wolf. Sarah K. Wright. Brittany R. Ibarra. Manuel Izquierdo. Summa Cum Laude. Adrian B. Zabka. Summa Cum Laude. Nikoli I. Zakarchuk, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick T. Sembrano. Mark A. Zamora. Carla I. Zapata. Connor A. Zimmerman, Cum Laude. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Fall 2021 graduates. With your completion certified of all the academic requirements as set forth in the Del Mar College Catalog, you are now entitled to receive your respective degree or certificate. Acting under the authority vested in me by the State of Texas, the Board of Regents of Del Mar College, and upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty, I hereby confer to you the appropriate degree and certificate that you have earned. If you're wearing your graduation caps at home, you may now move your tassels from right to left. This is the final step in the ceremony. Congratulations fall 2021 graduates. Felicidades para todos. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this very special virtual commencement. Please keep achieving, Vikings, wherever your path takes you. I wish you and your family a wonderful holiday season and a joyous new year. Please stay safe out there.